All right, everyone. So in today's tutorial, you will learn how to do a tail whip. Now, before we even start, you got to figure out which position you stand in. Now, for this video, I will be doing it the regular way, but if you're doing it the goofy way, trust me, it's the same steps, but simply reversed into the other way. Now, first off, you want to figure out which way is actually a tail whip, since I know a lot of people doesn't even know that, and then they start whipping your scooter. But if you're standing regular way, how it's going to work is the tail whip is going to come out from your heels, and you will catch it with your toes, like this. Now, once that you figure out actually which way to whip, before we even bother going into that, you want to get a sweet, nice hop. Trust me, the more air you can get on your scooter, the easier it is going to land. Here's a beautiful example of a nice Smexy Bunny Hop at one. All right, now that you found yourself a sweet, nice, beautiful, high bunny hop, trust me, it is very important. The more air, the simpler it is going to do the trick. Next step is going to be the arm rotation. I'm certain a lot of you guys do not hear about that, but trust me, landing a tail whip, you need to have a good rotation. What do I mean? With the bars, put your scooter in front of you, lift it off the ground, start spinning it clockwise. The direction that you would if you are standing regular. Now, trust me, it's gonna be a little bit weird to get the hang of it. Once you have the hang of it, practice this as much as you can. Why am I saying this is, with a tail whip, you will not be able to entirely flick it with your foot. This arm rotation is gonna help you get the scooter deck to actually get back to your feet. Now that you have the rotation, next thing is receiving the scooter deck. Since trust me, it can be a little bit of scary for the beginners out there that are actually trying tail whips. One huge tip that I can give you guys is simply practice catching it. Go like this, rotate it over and over till you feel comfortable of receiving the scooter deck at your foot. Now that you are comfortable with everything else, we're going to put all of that together to put into one simple motion. Now I know a lot of people told you about that motion. I'm certain you will know what I'm talking about. Now you're going to be rolling. You're going to take your front foot up, put it onto the ground, flick it with your foot, finish the rest with your bars, receive the deck to your foot, laying back on it. Now, me personally, I put a little twist in it. Trust me, it's going to help you a lot. When you take off your foot, go onto the ground, jump, and receive the scooter deck. The main reason why I suggest a lot of people to do that is simply it's going to practice you, your hand motion. Trust me, hand motion is very important. Anyway, here's an example of it. Once you have all of these steps super comfortable, this is when you're gonna full send. And before you actually full send, you might still be scared of fitting your ankles. Don't worry, I understand you. Here's a little tip of whenever you're actually gonna be full sending it. This, you're gonna do your tail whip, and you're gonna stop it with your right foot. Now you can do that a couple of times just to get the trust and confidence. And whenever you feel comfortable, simply full send, hop off the ground super high, flick with your foot, finish with your bars, receive it with your foot, and it's going to give you this. All right, everyone, so if you still can't get the hang of it, simply go back to the beginning of the video, do all the steps again, and by the end of it, again, you should be able to do it, but trust me, it's all about the practice. Don't give up. Anyway, that's all that I have to say. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and feel free to check out my other videos, everyone.